One sec. Technical difficulties. Hi, everybody. I thought it would be funny to <laughs> film with my kid. But we've got the camera connected to my phone and he can see it, so he's just making me look like a loser. <laughs> So Thea, what's been going on this week? What is what is different about this week than every other week? That you're a loser. <laughs> nope, that's the same. Every week, isn't <laughs> yeah. It? Oh yeah, it is. Um, the different thing is that uh, I've been deserted. Thea, are you gonna come back? So what we were trying to say was that what is different about this week than normal weeks, and that uh, is that it is birthday week. Yes, and that the baby sheep are shrinking. The baby sheep are shrinking? Yes. That's not true. So then why are they smaller every day? They're not smaller every day. Oh, well, you're right. They would be about the size of an ant already. <laughs> I had this, you know, it seemed like a great idea to film with the kids, but maybe... No. Maybe it doesn't. Anyway, so we've just come back from Edinburgh Yarn Festival, so I was away for a few days. And then we've gone straight into birthday week and the last week of the crowdfunder. We have met our target. I don't think we've posted since then um, <laughs> that uh, we had met our initial target and we're just waiting to hopefully meet our stretch target, which is very exciting. Um, what else is going on? We have... Um, spring break coming up, yeah. uh, so the kids are going to be off for a couple of weeks, which is always okay, but very annoying. <laughs> What's it's, annoying? Uh, for you, uh, that is annoying, is that you never get the computer. That is annoying. He's not wrong. Um, and we have so much work to do for the crowdfunder, and just in general, we are about a month, oh, a little over a month away, six weeks away from our first retreat of the year. Um, we still have some spaces left on it if anybody is looking to hang out and crochet and knit and do some natural dyeing and hanging out in the beautiful countryside. Don't worry, my children will not be there. Um, so yeah, it's just like coming into the busy season. Um, we've done loads of planting. Uh, so our first round of seed starts are all doing really, really well. And I need to get pick up some more compost to do the next batch. Yes, dude. In three days, small boy. And in three days, it's Theo's birthday. So Theo, how old are you going to turn? Eight. He's going to be eight. Um, and so Georgia turned nine yesterday, and Ellis will turn 12 next Tuesday. So yeah, just trying to kind of juggle all of those things, kind of trying to live our lives and celebrate the successes and the birthdays while equally trying to just get on with things. So yeah um we are expecting some sheep in the next week or so um that are going to come up here to lamb uh, my friend keeps shetland sheep and he is going to bring over a couple for us to lamb here as part of our goat visits um and yes Theo. did you have something to say or were you just trying to get attention uh, yeah, so, so that's quite exciting um, because we aren't actually due to lamb until June now. Um, although I have a sneaky suspicion that one of our sheep, um, one of our sheep, one of our sheep, that one of our sheep is due to lamb a bit sooner than that. She's kind of acting a bit weird. She's a bit fat, um, and uh, we caught her a couple of days ago. To um, well, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, we caught her a couple of days ago because we thought we mistook her for another sheep that was going off to the abattoir. And yeah, her vulva was looking a bit inflamed. Um, so we've been keeping an eye on it and we shall see. We don't usually get that close to our soe sheep um, around lambing because they are pretty wild. So um, yeah, it was an interesting thing just to observe somewhere. So this is what I'm looking forward to for the next two weeks. Um, constant interruptions and trying to get work done. Don't get me wrong, I love to have the kids around. And actually, Theo's been helping me with chores tonight. He helps me, you help me most mornings and evenings these days. Uh, we don't have any woofers here at the minute. Oh, we've got a couple days break. 
so um, it's just up to us. I try to do most of the chores right about school time, and then Kevin will come back and just milk um, in the evening. So that tends to work pretty well for us. Um, we are trying to kind of find a new normal um, with things. So one of the things that happened um, last week was that we sent our first lot of last year's lambs, so the first farm-born lambs, and our first farm-born goat to be slaughtered. Now, um, we have traditionally done all of the butchering ourselves, but this time we hired instant butchers so that in theory we can sell on our meat, which we haven't been able to do um, because you can't do that unless you sell resell from a licensed butcher. So um, I'm going, I think, tomorrow to pick that up. We also have bought about 20 kilos, no, 30 kilos of wool uh, to supplement our own wool to get our first yarn spun, which I'm really excited about. Now, some of that is contingent on how the crowdfunder dip does, but we are, I think we're only about 500 pounds off where I need to be for that target. So I'm feeling cautiously optimistic that we're going to get there. And so by the time this video actually posts, um, I'll be able to update in the comments whether or not we were able to spin some yarn or wh whether we will be able to. We're still trying to find a mill. Um, I have a specific idea oh, for the type of yarn that I want spun. Um, I work in the textile industry, so um, I kind of have had my fingers on many, oh, Marlo just stepped on my hand, um, many, many kinds of wool and I know what I'd like to recreate. So we're looking to do that. And um, yeah, it's just generally a really exciting time. I don't know if others of you find this as well with um, spring. It's like all of this potential and like the worry and lambing and planting and all of that all hits sort of at once. So even though we're not specifically lambing, um, yeah, it's just kind of like spring fever around here. The crowdfunder um, is getting closer to finishing, and it's becoming more and more, I don't know, close that we actually have to deliver on the work. Of course, we're super excited about it, but also really nervous. So we've been trying to put the final touches on all of the bits and bobs that we're going to need to buy in and hire in. Um, I'd really delayed doing that. I'd obviously done a rough costing of what everything was going to be uh, in terms of the work, but there were things like I hadn't necessarily picked the sinks out for hand washing or I hadn't really thought out where a polytunnel was going to go. Um, so a lot of that is coming together now. Um, also thinking about delivering the rewards and all the things that we need to do for that. So it's really exciting and it's a great problem to have. But I am really nervous. Oh, Theo thinks he broke Marlo. How did you break Marlo? I don't know if you heard that, but Theo accidentally hit Marlo in the head with a stick and now he doesn't want to play sticks anymore. I think that's totally normal. If you got hit in the head with a stick, you wouldn't want to play with sticks anymore either. He's fine. Yeah, so a lot of planning, a lot of delivering, a lot of everything happening all at once, but in the best sort of way.